In this video, I want to show you a simple way of how I color graded and achieve the filmic cinematic look, converting this clip from this to this. When I wake up, you say testimony. Cause the people went sleep when I wake up, not dead body. So I know they rush my guy and they take my time, relax, chill and enjoy myself. Cause the last time I what's up guys how are we doing today welcome to my channel my name is Ovunda Obunda Amadi so I shot a video sometime last year in London during the Notting Hill Carnival with my black magic camera the Sigma Art 18 to 35 lens I shot 6k 60 frames per second black magic raw so this video is just a simple tutorial of how I could achieve a filmic cinematic look on DaVinci Resolve so let's hop in let me show you what I did all right guys so the first thing I did was import the clip into DaVinci Resolve so this is DaVinci Resolve and this is the clip. Uh, the first thing you notice is that it's all like almost like black and white. It's flat. This is called log, log color. The reason why it's like this is to give the clip more dynamic range. It's better the clip is like this than when the colors are already baked inside. So in a flat clip like this, you'll be able to push the colors exactly the way you want from scratch. And um, so this is what the Blackmagic RAW film clip from the camera looks like, flat like this. So um, what I did was go to the to the edit, editing tab and um, the first thing I did was to create nodes and in the third node I put in a color space transform. Um, in the input, the, okay the color space transform is like, it helps to convert a log footage to rec 709 rec 709 is now the normal color that you see with your eyes what it looks like without being graded just normal clip so but in the log in the color space transform what i did was in the input color space i put um, black magic white gamut uh four over five, four over five. in uh, output gammas gamma i put black magic film gen 5 reason is because i shot film uh gen 5 then um, output color space rec 709 and output gamma i put senior film log i usually put gamma 2.4 but in this situation i intend to put a uh, film lot after the color space transform node transfer node so the reason is if i if i kept this on gamma 2.4 and i put a film lot it's going to look bad but since it's on senior film log and when i put a color space transform when I put a film lot, it looks good. So this is what this is what it looks like after converting from Rec 709 from log to Rec 709. This is log to Rec, Rec 709. Now you have some colors, but we are going to push it a little bit further. So after the color space transform, what I did now was to put a film lot. Now let me put in the film. Let me turn on the film lot. This is it. So this is the film lot from from flat to film lot. This looks good. This is this looks good, but this is not the final look I want. I wanted I want to add some things and push some things to make it look a little bit different. A little bit better in my opinion. So after I put in the color space transform and the lot, before the color space transform I now had to put the curve uh just just a slight slope in the curve this is what i did just a slight slope i pushed down the highlights took up the shadows a little bit and this is the feeling before after before after hmm. it's looking better in my opinion it's looking better i like i like what i see then after after the the um, curve what i did i went to the primaries I didn't touch anything. I didn't do anything in the primaries. I just went to the color boosts to turn to boost it a little bit. Aha, you can see the yellow. See the yellow here. You see what? This is without the boost. After the boost, you can see the yellow. And you can also see all, all the colors yellow, blue, the green everywhere. It's giving a kind of punch, a color punch to it, making it look good. Okay, so this looks good, but I still went further after the lots and added glow just something subtle not much you may not really notice but there's a little little glow the thing i've observed about color grading there's some things that you just have to put a little just a little 
don't push it because if you push it it may not it will it won't look good you understand just put a little and the funny thing is the final combination of everything you put in is what's it's what looks good so just to glow a little bit i can see it but um, you may not be able to see it but i can see the glow i know what i know what i want then after the glow i put in halation now let's see this wow so the halation really works around lights and edges you understand now let me make let me make you look at something if you look at um let me zoom this in a little bit if you look at the bubbles let me turn off the halation see the bubbles turn, turn it on now even look at her hair look at the sun on the, the edges look at her hair let me turn off the halation see how it is look after the now see what halation brings wow it gives this kind of beautiful so the thing is we're just making it look filmic you understand the film lot was okay but now these things are still adding more spice and making it look better okay so with the halation i love it i love what the halation has brought in it's it has that's changed it so much uh after the halation what i now did was added some film grain a little bit you may not really observe but if you zoom in if you zoom in uh look at this the lady skin on her back let me turn it off this is without film grain and this is with, with film grain like i said everything is just a little don't put don't put don't overdo anything if not you're gonna spoil spoil the clip everything is just little 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 and you get the result you want so uh after the film grain i now put in um what i do here okay after the film grain i went back to the curves i went to uh saturation versus saturation and i pulled down the highlights and the shadows what this does is that it, it removes some colors you don't need in the highlights and some colors you don't need in baked in the shadows you pull this down pull, it removes it these are little things that happen that you may not really you, you may not really observe but when you put everything together it, it actually makes sense so i just did that to try to clean the highlights and clean the shadows if there are any colors there that uh, messing it up and uh, this is it this is just how i did the color grading this is it so some people could some people could um add up something extra like go into the timeline if i wanted to make, look more more filmy go into timeline go into the black and um, alpha black blanking and i use 2.39 now it gives it that flat film puts 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 in these black bars in it and it looks good so this is an option so the thing is it just depends on what you want let me show you the, what this looks like this is it now so the thing is it, it, it all depends on what you want the things you want to add to your clip you understand and try to uh, create what you visualize in your head so this now is something extra i just added and wow it looks good it looks good it looks good you can see it looks it looks very 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 good it looks very very good now this is before this is after this is before and this is after and that's it all right guys so that's the simple process of how i achieve this look so let me know in the comment section of what you think the process and the final outcome thank you for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out